So it's project time and unboxing. So I found this beautiful 1920s, 1930s Art Deco Czechoslovakian hand-blown glass perfume bottle. Now that's a mouthful, right? And it was missing the atomizer, so like the bulb, the tube, and the metal part on the top. And so I always order from Laurel from Texas. Her eBay name is Gidget Pup 5. And I had purchased other bottles like this that were missing the parts. And so I ordered two of these bulbs and they just arrived. And it looks like Gid, uh, Gidget Pup 5, AKA Laurel, was so kind enough to actually throw some extras in the bag. Oh my goodness, wow. I was telling her I need extra connectors and um, she threw these in for me. That was really nice of her. Thank you so much, Laurel, if you're watching. Oh my goodness, look at that. She is really, really great. If you need any perfume bottle parts, please order from her. I'll put the link in the bottom of the description to uh, show you guys where you can get um, parts for your old perfume bottles. So what I'm hoping, now the problem is with a lot of these older bottles is the attachment pieces don't always fit. They, they're not interchangeable. So what I'm going to try to do is see if Laurel's pieces will fit. It's not always actually a lucky thing. So let's see if I get lucky. Stay tuned. So I had ordered other pieces from her in the past. So I got a black one. I got a silver one. I got a blonde colored one. And I got gold. So I'm not sure which one would look the nicest. What do you guys think? Write in the comments below. So either blonde, this is gold. So either blonde or gold. All right, so I'm gonna put these two up together. I think the gold, right? Actually, both of them look really pretty. I think I'm gonna go with the gold this time. Now let's see if this screws in. I sure hope so. If not, what are you gonna do? These things, you know, are not, um, like I said, interchangeable. Stay tuned. Look at how beautiful uh, her products are. My goodness. So let's see. Did it work, guys? All right. Well, it didn't screw all the way in, but it's uh, it's screwed in somewhat. So, okay, I'm willing to live with this. It's okay for, you know, for me. Now, there's some people that notice every little unusual little thing. And that might bother somebody, but the bottle is complete now. And uh, the atomizer does work, even though it doesn't screw all the way in. And it doesn't look too bad. It looks like the, the uh, little part over here actually looks like it's a design. So it looks like it's a raised design on here. So I'm actually really, really pleased with it. Now, um, thanks again to my friend, Laurel. Um, I was able to uh, add the parts to my perfume bottle and make it complete. And this is really beautiful. It was made in Czechoslovakia. And uh, it was made in the Bohemia region, and it could have been made by Moser. Moser was a glass maker in that area that made a lot of beautiful hand-blown glass with hand-painted enamel work on it. Now, if it's not Moser, it's another Czechoslovakian company that probably made it. I'm trying to see if there's any marks. Sometimes you'll find a mark on the collar. Oh, there we go. All right, so it says... I think it says made in Czechoslovakia. So yeah, so it's po possibly like a Moser type of uh, bottle. Let's see if there's any markings on the bottom. It's very iridescent, by the way. You see like how it shimmers? Look at that. That's really beautiful. I like that iridescent type of glass. See that? So yep, so it could be a Moser bottle. It could be just another factory in the Moser um, style that made this. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can order more parts from my friend Laurel. Gidget Pup 5 on eBay. Thanks for watching.